Well, the sights and sounds of trick or treating can be so much fun, but it can also be very overwhelming for kids with autism. Yeah, I mean, you really have to think about it. That, mm -hmm. That's why we've invited Sharon Reeve with the Center for Autism at Caldwell University to share some tips for all of us. And this is a very important topic. But what about parents with kids with autism? Mm -hmm. What can they do to make sure it's a fun holiday for them, too? You know, it might be helpful for them to kind of do a dry run mm. so the kids know more what to expect. So maybe try on the costume, make some adjustments if necessary, make sure it's like all good and comfy and just the way the child wants it. Like maybe get a treat bag, something special for them to hold their candy in, practice saying trick or treat, mm. take a little bit of candy, not the whole thing. And then what you just said is the most important part, have fun. <laughs> All right, for those handing out candy at home, um, how can they also help kids with autism have the best night? So I think the most important thing to remember is Halloween is a time for kids to be kids. All mm -hmm. kids are just kids. So when they come to your door, do everything that you would for any other child and, you know, tell them they look great, give them candy and a high five. <laughs> oh, I like that. And I like, I like what you're doing, too. You've got this special trick-or-treat outing planned on campus. What's that all about? We do. It's, I think it's one of the times the university shines the most. Um, they open our doors to us. The university is a very small um, campus and it's really easily walkable, which makes it nice for trick-or-treating. They all open their doors from the president's office to the psychology department and they welcome the center for the day and typically they're always welcoming and kind but in, even more so on Halloween. That's an amazing talk to, about to, a good drive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have yeah. the families there with us too. And what are opportunities like this so important for the kids? It just gets a chance for them to be kids. Mm. Um, and we also are a training site, so our graduate students get to practice, you know, real life situations and how do you, you know, kind of run interference in those types of situations. So, you know, I'm a fan of Caldwell University. I respect what you do, but when you shared some of these stats, so mm -hmm. it, according to the New Jersey Autism, uh, uh, this study that was done, one in 35 kids in New Jersey have autism spectrum disorder. Yeah. And that's much higher than the national average. I mean, any answers? Do we know why? I wish we knew why. Mm. We don't. Um, I would speculate that we're getting a little better at detecting it. We're making um, autism is, is we're very aware of people with autism. I, I started the profession quite a few years ago and nobody even knew a child with autism. Whereas now I came in the stu studio today and I met somebody who had a son mm -hmm. yeah. who has autism. So I think we're just more aware of it and we diagnose it better. Which ultimately ends to, to serve everybody better. That's exactly right. Knowing it. Yes, yeah. yes, now we can help. Yeah. Well, the Center for Autism at Caldwell University is in New Jersey to help provide support. So tell us about your mission and other activities that families can get involved in. Sure. Um, we have a, a doctoral program and a master's program, and we train graduate students right on our on-campus autism center. Um, all of our families are welcome to come. Um, we teach them how to navigate everyday situations, including Halloween. Um, our graduate students uh, also dress up on the day, so that's one of the most <laughs> important things they do. So all of our kids have their own team of graduate students, and they always go in themes. So our little three-year-old is Skellington, Jack Skellington, and they're all going to be skeletons. And we take the families out and it's a dry run for the families, but it also gives them a chance to sit back and let the grad students run interference for them to make sure that the kids get all the experiences that they love and none of the experiences that they don't like. See, and that's what I like about the center mm -hmm. because it's this, it's this real life, real tangent for the kids, but the ways you can observe and then the ways they bring the grad students into this help tease them up for success wherever they end up serving. Exactly. The campus is like a little mini town. It's a little mini community, so we can practice a lot of things on a smaller scale. That's fantastic. Doctor, thank you so much for being here and educating us about everything. Thanks so much for having me. And favorite candy? Uh, Milky Way. Oh, well, not milk. milk. Well, no, what are you? Well, What's I, your favorite candy? I can't decide. I like... <laughs> Well, you know I like Snickers, but yeah. you know I like Butterfingers, but you know sometimes I feel like a nut and sometimes I don't. You know I love Reese's. I mean, what's yours? Um, Snickers. Oh, okay. And Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. See, it's so difficult. Oh, All right. And again, Caldwell University Center for Autism trick-or-treating event. It takes place on Tuesday, October 31st from 10 to 1130 a.m. For more information, visit CBSNewYork.com.